Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is actually my 100th episode for this YouTube channel. And I kind of feel bad because I didn't really plan anything special. It's just a shorty video. But in my defense, I didn't have time to plan anything special because last week I was in Colombia and then I landed Friday night. And then Saturday morning, I left immediately for LA to go to a conference. And it's Monday now. I just got back home late last night. So... I'm sorry, I didn't do a special thing for my 100th episode. I guess that probably matters more to me than to you guys, but um, yeah. But yeah, I was in Bogota for almost the entire time that I was in Colombia, and it was such an amazing trip. They have some amazing street art. Uh, the reason why I was there is I won the San Diego Zoo and the US State Department and runs this hackathon that's like conservation oriented. And my team won last year for the San Diego version, but then also for the worldwide tier of the competition. And so that was our prize as we got to go to Colombia. So it was really cool. We got to meet some ambassadors, some officials from the Colombian government, and we got to meet a lot of people that are working for conservation there. So that was an amazing trip. They also have some amazing street art there, and I found some pretty cool things. I'll probably be posting stuff on my Instagram soon. Once I kind of recover from all this traveling, I have a stuffy nose and stuff now too. So if I sound funny, I'm sorry guys. But um, yeah, let's get straight to this shorty video so I can show you something that's actually audio related and I don't bore you to death with uh, talking about my trip. So yeah, basically what I wanted to show you guys today is a really quick way using shortcuts to compare two tracks. So for me personally, one of the situations where I tend to want to do this and to use this function is when I'm doing like a rough master for a client. So a lot of times you might have one version of the song and then you're trying to make Make a master of the song and you might want to kind of a B test them so you might have the original version of the song and then you might have a mastered version of the song and you might want to kind of a B test them and listen listen to it check it out also when we're using references this can be a great function to use for that as well so you can switch between soloing and not soloing the reference basically so I'm going to show you with this session. It's just an old rough master session that I had here. So I have the original track right here, and then I have something that's been worked on right here. And so basically the way the shortcut works that I'm going to show you is if you have a track highlighted, all you have to do is hold shift, and then you can hit S, and that will solo that track. Or you can do shift M, and that will mute the track. So that's the basic concept here. But what I like to do is I like to do shift S to solo one track and then I'll highlight two tracks, right? The two that I wanna compare. And so what's gonna happen here is whenever I hit shift S, it's gonna toggle between the two. And so that's because it's just switching the state of each track. So for example, it's kind of easier to understand if I do shift M here, it does both tracks, right? Cause I have both of them highlighted here. But since in this situation, I have one on solo and one that's not soloed, it's just toggling their state here. So for example, if I were to unsolo this and then I do shift S, it's going to solo both of them at once. But when you're comparing things, you don't really want that. So what I'll do is I'll solo one and then I'll just have them toggle by doing shift S. I hope that kind of makes sense. I know I kind of talked in a circle with that just now, but I hope that kind of makes sense. It's a really quick way to kind of A-B test two different tracks, two different sound effects, whatever it is, you know? So this is just one way that I like to do things when I want to compare. And you might have noticed while I was doing this just now that I'm not actually highlighting the track nameplates here. So this function is not dependent on the nameplates. So for example, if I hold shift and then I highlight both track nameplates here, but I only have one track that's actually has material that's highlighted within the edit window, then what's going to happen is it's only going to affect this one track, not this other one here, because I don't have anything highlighted here. So if I do shift S, it's only affecting that one track. I hope that makes sense. So basically what you want to do is make sure that whatever you want this to work for, you have it highlighted in the actual edit window here. And also just keep in mind if you want to do this by just highlighting the nameplates, the track nameplates here, you can go to options and then you can go to, let me find it here, link track and edit selection. And so basically if I go and I click on something over here in the actual edit timeline, it's going to also highlight that nameplate for the track. And so in that case, I can hold shift and highlight this track nameplate, and now it's going to work for both of them, right? Whereas before, it wouldn't have, right? Because clicking on this nameplate would not have automatically highlighted the content of the actual track in the timeline. So if you don't have these linked, just keep in mind that this function works off of what you're actually highlighting in the timeline here. So shift S or shift M. 
And that's basically it for today. I hope you guys find this useful. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And as always, if you like this video, please hit the like button, comment, subscribe to my channel, tell your friends about my channel, watch my other videos. You know, all the things that help people on YouTube would be greatly appreciated if you like my videos. And if you do want to support my channel more directly, I do have a Patreon. So it's patreon.com slash Kato Noise. I come out with new videos every Wednesday and thank you for watching. Okay. Can you clap? Oh.